Hi everyone, welcome to Zainat's NEET PG 2022 information series. The Kerala PG Medical Counseling for 2022 has been announced and uh, the notifications and the prospected had, uh, were published on 9th August. Uh, in this video, we'll take you through uh, all the rules and regulations, basically starting from the eligibility for the counseling, the application requirements, the certificates required, and the round-wise uh, rules on uh, choice filling, allotment, joining, upgradation, and exit, etc. Who will be eligible for what and what happens when you join a seat and resign, etc. Uh, there have been some changes uh, from 2021. We'll also mention that uh, in this uh, in a series of videos, uh, each of uh, maximum five minutes each, we'll cover all these topics, different topics. And uh, at any point in time during the counseling, at a la uh, later point in time, you will be able to come back on uh, visit these videos for more clarity. We will also update you on any change in any rule or regulation that has been notified through Zainad as well as well as our Telegram groups. Uh, Kerala basically has a combined counseling for state government seats and private institute seats. So there's one counseling under CE Kerala. The link for the uh, CE Kerala portal is available in the YouTube description. Uh, the seats, 50% uh, of seats in government medical colleges in Kerala and 100% of seats in either all private colleges, be it minority or non-minority colleges, all the seats of them are allotted uh, from these colleges are allotted under Kerala PG Medical Counseling. So the NEED PG percentile qualification for general and EWS candidates, it is 50 percentile. For PWD candidates who belong to general and EWS category, it is 40 percent, 45 percentile. So if you are above 45 percentile and you belong to Gen PWD or EWS PWD category, you will be eligible for Kerala PG Medical Counseling. Uh, as far as SCST or SCBC candidates, SCBC is a, a category list that is uh, mentioned over here. You can pause and check on the list. Uh, so if you belong to SCBC category or SCST category as defined under Kerala uh, notifications, you will be able to, uh, uh, you will be eligible for uh, Kerala PG medical counseling if you are above 40 percent. A point to note here, you may be an OC OBC candidate uh, uh, who is between 40 to 50 percentile, but you are not eligible for AAQ because your caste is not under the central OBC list or if you don't fall under the non-creamy layer as per central criteria. But if you are SCBC and if you are under the SCBC caste list, which is provided in the annexure and the prospectus, and you don't fall under the SCBC NCL criteria and you are above 40 percentile, you could be eligible for state quota. So both are separate. State quota eligibility is separate from All India OBC NCL eligibility. So understand that distinction and check for your eligibility for the state quota. Next, we'll look at the reservation in Kerala government institutes. So, uh, the reservation in Kerala government institutes is also followed in the private institutes and they also have additional minority reservation. So this is the percentage reservation that is followed, 53% uh, for open category, EWS category, 10% for EWS category and uh, uh, it's 27% of, uh, for SEBC uh, which is uh, split as mentioned over here. And then you have 8% for SC and 2% for ST. Uh, Ex-servicemen, there is one seat on a roster basis, on a uh, uh, roster basis, which is allocated for ex-servicemen. Uh, in case ex-servicemen, as in the candidate being an ex-serviceman, if the candidate is not available, uh, then the seat is uh, allotted under general merit category. And there is one seat which is under dependent of Jawan killed in action. In case the candidate is not available, then the candidate is, uh, the seat is allotted to dependent of ex-servicemen or to ex-servicemen or if not then it is moved to general category. There is a 5% horizontal reservation for PWD candidates and the medical verification for this happens at the state uh, medical board. You will have to get your district uh, medical board disability certificate and then appear before the state medical board for final verification for uh, PWD candidates. Uh, note that this reservation is only for Kerala origin candidates. If you are eligible through any other criteria like MBBS from Kerala but you are from a different state, then you are not eligible for this reservation. You will not be able to get a certificate from the village officer or whatever certificate is required for taking this reservation because it has to be taken from Kerala. Uh, reservation in Sen Financing Institutes, uh, they are minority institutes, Christian minority and Muslim minority institutes which offer Christi uh, Christian minority and Muslim minority seats. Uh, and then you have NRA seats which are offered uh, for uh, NRA candidates. Uh, and then you have uh, NRA Christian, within NRA you also have a Christian minority and Muslim minority split in case the institution that uh, the private institute is a Christian or a Muslim minority institution. The next set of uh, 
uh, uh, seats that are uh, uh, available under particular reservation is the in-service reservation. Uh, in-service reservation, 10% uh, of seats are available under Kerala state quota, and these are reserved for in-service candidates. Now, uh, their incentives are given up to 30 marks as per relevant GOs. The upper, uh, these are split into medical education and uh, the 10 percentage of seats that are available are split into 45 percentage for medical education service quota, those who are under the medical education department, uh, health services 45 percentage and then insurance, med insurance medical services, the rest 10 percentage. Uh, the age limit is also mentioned here. You can have a look at the age limit as far as reservation is concerned. We'll finally have a look at the eligibility for the seats uh, before we close this. Uh, uh, candidates should fall in under any one of these categories to be eligible um, uh, for Kerala PG Medical Council. Those who fall under category one or two are eligible for all the seats, including uh, for government seats, for private seats, or for NRA seats too, in case they have an RNRA or an NRA sponsor. So category one and two are eligible for all the seats uh, in uh, Kerala PG Medical Counseling, both the government and private institute seats. Uh, Indian citizens, category one is any Indian citizen of Kerala or origin. If you are born in Kerala or if your parent has a birth certificate from Kerala, you will be able to, uh, you, will, you are eligible for Kerala PG Medical Counseling if you have an MBBS degree recognized by MC. So you can be any other state MBBS or a foreign medical graduate. But if you are a citizen of, uh, if, if you are a Kerala origin candidate, then you will be eligible for Kerala PG Medical Counseling. Uh, the documents that are required for this, we will be taking it up in the documents uh, video, uh, separate documents and certificates video separately. Uh, then there is category two. Uh, in case you are not of Kerala origin, but you have completed MBBS from one of the medical colleges in the state Kerala. It might be a private institute. It might be a... Uh, it might be a government institute. If you have completed MBBS from one of the medical colleges in the state of Kerala, you would still be eligible for uh, Kerala government and Kerala PG medical seats, but you will not be eligible for any kind of reservation if you, since you are not of Kerala origin. Then the third category is PAO and OCA candidates from Kerala. So if you are a, a person of, a, if you have a PAO or an OCA card, you will be considered for Kerala PG medical counseling, but only for the NRA seats in self-financing colleges and you will not be eligible for any reservation. So like we said, category one and category two are eligible for all government and private quota seats. And they are also eligible for NRA seats if they are NRA or they have an NRA uh, sponsor as per NRA quota eligibility, which we'll share at, uh, in a separate video. PA and OCA are eligible only for NRA seats. So this uh, clears the reservation and the eligibility part for Kerala PG Medical. We'll get into the certificates and the rules, etc. at a later point in time in a different video. Thank you.